Here's a quick rundown on how the drawing was made. Uh, there's two parts to the drawing. There's the spiral, and then there's the components that go behind it or kind of push it up. The spiral is created in code. Uh, it's, you know, not all that compelling to look at, but there's a, a chunk of code right here that I call circle shaded that draws a spiral of, uh, you know, a certain number of turns. So I've created a spiral here that has 100 and it was 190 in the original drawing. This is the original drawing. 190 turns with 50,000 points. That creates this, uh, this spiral here, which is uh, you know hard to see unless you really zoom in on it. But there's the, sp the original spiral. And what happens is the original spiral gets uh, this math defined. Here's a bouncing sine wave. This is the bouncing action that the balls make here. And then this defines their X movement, and this defines their Z movement. Uh, these combine together to make this bouncing uh, line and then the bouncing line is kind of turned in space and created into this row of balls and then the balls are you know you know combined with uh, the blocks which are kind of stepping up in space like this and then we have the balls and the blocks and then the balls and the blocks are rendered to make uh, this image here and then the image is used to push the uh, spiral is the spiral coming in and they get both turned into kind of math and then it's used to push the spiral up. So here it is like this. Now this is actually being rendered with perspective, which we don't have quite yet. So then we go into this step where we uh, use a camera, kind of a virtual camera here, and, and push the, the points around so that you actually have perspective, which then we come into this step here and we delete some of it. And this is how we make the hole and how we kind of clean up both the beginning point, which is hard to see, but it's, on this one, it's right here. The one we actually ended up using is this one, I believe. So the beginning point is right there. And then the ending point is, it's right there, that's wrong. Uh, oh, right, so then we go into this one and we clean up the ending point, which is right here. And then those together get pulled into this uh, drawing program where I can control my robot. So this is what the drawing looks like in the, in the vector drawing program. And then I go and I fire it off on the robot over here and I give the robot a pen and I stick it in the Johnson, and then it goes in and it does the, the business. Yup.